friends welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to vlogmas day one you guys we are doing it we are doing vlogmas for those of you that don't know what vlogmas is it is where you're gonna get a video from me every single day up until christmas <laughs> I have a lot of stuff planned. Um, I know this is gonna be challenging for me because I'm already busy, you guys. <laughs> and now I've decided to add this to my plate. I mean, who am I? I don't know. We will soon see um, how well this goes. But we're here, we're at day one, and this area over here, um, we're downstairs in my living room. Um, well, my family room, I have formal living, formal dining up there that I haven't even finished, but that's another story. Um, I don't think we're gonna be doing that during Vlogmas, but we are about to put up the Christmas tree. Um, I don't know about you guys, but, and if you hear that bell, that's totally Bentley. Bentley, come here, come here. You wanna come say hi? Oh goodness, hold on. Okay, say hi, Bentley. Say hi. Say hello, hi, my name is Bentley. <laughs> Want to give kisses. Okay, you guys, this is Bentley. Say hi. His one little white paw is so cute. Um, and yeah, he's kind of just walking around down here with me. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get, oh, but what I was gonna say is, um, you know, I'm not the person, normally I'll change my tree colors or tree decor like every other year or something, but I'm gonna keep it the same this year. I just, I don't wanna go through the, the trouble of like finding new decor because I really liked the theme that I used last year, which was some greens and browns, just earthy tones that I feel like go with like the warmth and earthy kind of feeling that I have down here. So we're gonna get ready to do that. What I usually do, um, because I do usually put my tree here, um, I'm gonna have to move the sectional around a little bit. Um, I'll show you guys in a second, but I'm gonna basically take an extra piece and put it on the other side so that I have room for the Christmas tree. Um, so we're gonna get that out and deal with all of the boxes of everything. Bentley's still here hanging out because I just can't let him down, you guys. He's starting to chew. He's licking every. He's licking and chewing everything. Mm -hmm. Well, he's trying to, but I won't let him. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So stick around. Um, and see if you guys can help me but i'll show you also how i decorate my tree some of you have asked me in previous years over on instagram like how i do it so i'll give you um you know an in-depth little tutorial on that um and of course there's no right or wrong way you can do it however you see fit i'll just show you guys the way that i do mine we will go from there so you guys this is how the sectional looks right now i mean it's just really simple but basically i'm gonna take out um because I don't have these like hooked or anything. I'm gonna take out this piece and then I'm gonna put it over here. So then this will just be not as much space, but that's just what I usually do for Christmas. And we're gonna move this over by the garage door. And yeah, that's it. We have no place to go. but it's a little close and cozy over there, but it's so I can have enough space here for the tree. Um, and then of course I moved the ladder over here. Had to put Billy up because he was getting everything. So I just got the tree out. I do still have a flock tree, you guys, and I always put mine back in the box that came in. To me, it's just easier to store that way. So we are gonna get this bad boy out. How tall is it? Is it 10 foot? Nine foot, sorry. Yeah, nine foot. <laughs> and I have this container with all of the decor in it. You guys can see this was the color scheme last year. We're gonna go with that same scheme. Let's take her out and put her up. Now 
now that I have the actual tree like up, the first thing I do is actually plug in all the lights to make sure the lights work first before I go through all the energy of spreading out all the branches and getting ready to decorate it. Yeah, let me let me go do that and make sure she lights. Okay. Y'all, the time I just had trying to find the lighting sockets is crazy. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's plug it up. Yay! Wonderful. All the lights work. <laughs> So now I'm going to, I'm just gonna fluff it out you guys and then I'll pick you guys back up when I'm starting to do the decorating. Um, just a little tip, I like to start with ribbon first. So I'll show you guys that first, but I do ribbons and I do like balls and ornaments. Um, and then I don't even know if I have a top right now this year. Anyway, I'm a big old mess, look at this. <laughs> The only thing I don't like about flock trees, I would love a green tree, but again, I've only had this tree maybe three or four years and she needs to get, I, I need my money's worth. <laughs> and I do love this tree still. It's just, she, she messy. So the tree has been pretty fluffed, um, as fluffed as I'm going to fluff. And so just a little tip because I'm going to go ahead and start doing this, but I have, so whenever I get ribbon i always get um wired edge ribbon just because it bends and see how it kind of held that shape it bends better i particularly like to cut mine in strips i know there are some people that do their trees and it's like one continuous um long i guess line of ribbon um so it kind of maybe they start from the top and it just they drape the whole thing down and then just tuck it but i particularly like to just do like longer strips and do like a couple of loops and then stick it in the tree and kind of have them kind of scattered throughout so it kind of fills it up but what you want to do first is fill in the gaps and that's why i use the ribbon first Maybe it'll make more sense. I know it'll all come together in the end, but that's just what I like to do. So I like to do kind of pretty long strips. I don't even know. I'm not really good with measurements. How long will we say this is? Maybe, I don't know y'all, about this much. <laughs> Maybe like chest length, I don't know. Shoulder, shoulder to shoulder. There you go. Shoulder to shoulder length. Um, and some of these are even different lengths too. So I'm gonna take this stuff off of the fireplace too so i usually take down i don't have much here it's very minimalistic down here but like the frames and stuff and just the decor here because i will of course then put up some christmas stuff i usually put like a little village or just some little trees i usually just like to put ribbon ball type ornaments of different sizes and sometimes shapes and then just a bunch of tree filler and tree filler looks like this and I get these from Hobby Lobby and they always have them every single year so I know if I don't have enough then I just go get some more but they're usually always a Hobby Lobby but those are like my simplistic tree decor stuff and then also you guys will see um for a tree skirt I actually like to use I like to use a blanket but I like to use my Casa Luna blanket that's in my guest room I'll show it to you guys but you probably have seen it before if you've watched um, the vlog when my parents came to visit. But I actually like to wrap that around the base of the tree. I don't know, I just like the way it looks. It gives to me cozy vibes because you know tree skirts are so perfect, like the perfect circle. Um, and you can maybe bunch them up a little bit, but you don't get a lot of fabric. Fabric, yeah. <laughs> you don't get a lot of fabric that way. So I prefer to use the blanket. Um, it is, I wanna say a queen size. It's just what I do. I mean, you know to each his own, but I do use a blanket for my tree skirt. So yeah, that's all I put on here, you guys. So I'm gonna get to starting on this. It looks like it might take me a little bit, <laughs> but I'll let you guys watch. over in 
then I kind of pinch the middle and I tuck it in the tree and then loop another piece over and like wrap tuck it under another one and so you kind of just do this scattered throughout um and then i'll go in and fill in even more with like actual ball ornaments but that's basically what i'm doing is like a bunch of different loops different kinds of ways <laughs> It'll make sense. And then you use the filler for any extra little holes that you have, like how I can see through right now. We don't want that in the end. So I start this way <laughs> first, but it's like take a strip and then you take the loop, like I said, and pinch, push in and then loop again. You can see I've looped just some different ways. I like to tuck mine into the tree and let the branches kind of come out because um, that's kind of how this tree is. It's kind of like... I don't know if I call it a messy tree, but maybe so. So next I'm gonna do the ornaments, um, specifically the balls. And you guys, a little tip to, um, I had it maybe one year, but I'm not doing maybe this year. Um, don't use these because you don't want the balls to dangle from the tree. That doesn't make it look full. You want to use wire like this, and you can get this from like um, Target, anywhere. And you want to wrap this like tight inside the tree. Oh, I won't do it on this because I can't do it with one hand. But that's how I do my ornaments. So you can make it like, oh gosh, sorry y'all, doing this with one hand, boy. Make it go over. And I actually like to sit them inside the tree because you don't want them to, to dangle. Like spaces here, I'm gonna definitely put an ornament here so that again, it just fills in the tree without dangling from the ends. Like you don't wanna see string hanging from the tree. Again, this is just what I do. <laughs> I'm not a tree perfectionist. I'm not a tree decorator person at all, but it's starting to get dark, but I did want to show you guys what I've done so far. So I'm gonna finish decorating this. Yeah, but that's kind of what I do. Guys, wow, <laughs> it's already dark outside. Y'all know it gets dark now at five o'clock. It's six, but um, I'm still here. We are filling up the tree. Um, you can kind of see how it looks with the ornaments on there. Let me see if you can see. I had to turn the lights on and everything, y'all. So yeah, again, doesn't have to be perfect, but to me, just filling in with the ribbon and then just some ornaments and you can kind of see they're kind of tucked in here. They're not dangling off of like the ends so like this one is tucked in it's dangling but it's more tucked in dangle does that make sense yeah so we'll be back because then we're going to start stuffing it with with the filler so like these will just begin to like tuck into any holes we have um i'm going to finish with the ornaments and then we will put the filler in and then y'all will be done. And then I'll put the tree skirt on and then I'm actually going to put, um, I saved some of the ribbon uh, here and also some ornaments. <laughs> And then this is what the fireplace, fireplace looks like. Just super simple. That's how I had it last year. Um, so 
I decided to just do the same thing. And y'all, I love these name tags for the stockings. I will link them down below. I believe they still have them now. Um, I got them from Amazon and they're leather. So they're really, really nice. And I put Bentley's little stocking on top of Jordan's. I have to get him a little name tag too. But I mean, not too shabby. Um, and I think the tree looks better like up close because from far away, you probably can hardly tell there's anything even <laughs> done to it. But I mean, I think it turned out pretty good. This might be my last year of the flock tree, you guys. I don't know. Um, it was so much mess to clean up. <laughs> so, so much. Um, but yeah, let's run to Target now that we're done with this. I need some more tape because I don't like to see the cord and the tape I have is not staying put. So we got to fix that. Let's go. Yeah, the pajamas. <sighs> I need to get some, but honestly, last time I came in here, they didn't really have any that I liked, but it looks like they have some new ones. No? Mm. I don't really want red, you guys. <laughs> it's just red everywhere. Y'all yeah, know I'm going for a rustic theme, so ideally, I would appreciate some cream PJs. That, oh, look how cute. Aw, I love anything with a cute little face. I like little footy socks. Um, I don't see anything, you guys. Oh, this is a cute gift set. Christmas gift option. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I don't know, you guys. I'll keep looking. Y'all. Yeah. What? I gotta get out of here. I am definitely a sucker for a cute mug. Do you like any of these? Oh, this is my Christmas movie mug. That's kind of cute. Nope. So this is the color scheme I like for wrapping. I actually have this already. I bought this already. And as you guys can see, it probably goes well with my theme. Oh, look at these nice boxes. Hmm. It's a different green. But my green is similar to this. But maybe I at least go ahead and get some more of this, which is the jute ribbon. I like to use this stuff and I usually run out anyway. Oops. I don't like that shade of green. I think I'm just gonna get this for now, you guys. And then decide on the rest of the wrapping paper later. $3.99. Let's get it. So I am back from Target. Um, I just got the duct tape, which I did put on the light cord. It works better. Um, and then I got some plugins. I got the string, the like jute rope string. And then I bought some more batteries because you guys, I don't know, I need a tip, but I can't be the only person where on my iMac, I have the old school and like first generation probably, but this wireless keyboard, the batteries do not last long at all. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Should we not go Energizer anymore? Y'all remember the Energizer bunny? He keeps going and going and going and going. He's not going very far in this keyboard though. So I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, I got that. And y'all, I am so disappointed. For one, I'm disappointed at all this freaking, look at this, all this fluff all over me. I know they were looking at me in Target like, honey, go clean yourself up. But you guys, my tree lights are going out. The middle of the tree is dim. It's dimmer than the rest of the tree. And I didn't notice it at first, but now I've noticed it and it is annoying me. <laughs> it really is. But there is no way I'm going to take off all of that, the decorations I did today with you guys. I'm not doing that and getting another tree. I'm just not. This will just be the last year of good old Flocker. Flocka Flocker. Flock, Flocka Flocka. Yeah, Flocka Flocka, the tree. Not Waka Flocka, but Flocka Flocka. So yeah, super bummed about that. And no, I'm not about to go wrapping around lights and anything, but it's just, I'm just annoyed. But anyway, I'm gonna sit here. I'm about to do some work. Um, it's been what feels like a very long day, but it's been a great day one. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and 
decorating the tree with me. Um, I have, again, a lot of things planned. I'm going to try my best not to just wear myself out each day, <laughs> but I do want to make it interesting and fun and maybe teach you guys some things along the way. I, that's just what I like to do. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed day one and I will see you guys tomorrow in day two. So good night. Mm -hmm.